Roses, it's Sugar Rose Studios. And today we're gonna be doing a super exciting tack unboxing. So this is another order from Leo's Tack Studio. I did another tack unboxing and we decided that we were gonna do a trade. So I sent her a custom tracker mirror and um, she sent me these tack sets. So let's open it. I'm so excited. I'm in love with her work. So let's open it. It came a lot faster than I was expecting and I am so happy that it came before I left for college because I thought it was gonna come way after and I was really upset, but I am so happy that it came and I can unbox it for you guys. Okay, let's open this. Havana, oh, na, na. Half of my heart is in Havana, oh, na, na. He took me back to his that land, na, 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 na. Oh, but my heart is in Havana. There's something that is matters. Havana, oh, na, na. He didn't wake up with a high you do. Okay, so these are the two saddles, and then it looks like these are the two bridles. And then we have the matching boot sets, as well as the girths are in here, I think. Yeah. All right, so let's open the first saddle. This one is blue and it has like this really pretty blue trim, and the saddle pad matches the trim, which I love. And also, the stirrups have like this little bit of blue on them, on like the padding part. Wow, that is just beautiful. Look at that, guys. See, that's the stirrup, see how it's blue, and the saddle pad matches as well, which is beautiful. And this is just simply stunning. I am obsessed with this, and it is so small and perfect. I have a few horses out to see which one I want to put it on because it is always the hardest part to choose which horse gets to wear this beautiful tack. And now let's open up the other saddle. Ooh, that was close. I almost cut the billets. That would have been really bad. <laughs> okay, so this is this really pretty like chestnut color one. I really love the color of this one actually. And um, this green matching saddle pad. I love the fuzzy part on it. That's so cute. Um, so this is absolutely perfect and just amazing. I love how realistic everything she does is. And I mean, it's just so superb quality. So now we're going to open the other bridles that match the sets. Okay, so this is the one that matches the blue saddle. I don't know the specific names of these bridles, but I basically just found pictures on Google and sent them to her and she does an amazing job replicating the pictures that I send. So I don't really know the exact name of this, like I said, but it's pretty cool. It's some sort of jumping bridle, I'm pretty sure. So it'll be easier to see once it's on the horse, but basically it's amazing. <laughs> now we're gonna open the other bridle, and this is the one that matches the lighter saddle and green saddle pad. And this one is like a Mexican uh, or figure eight bridle, and it has like that little star in the center which is so difficult i can't imagine doing this i tried doing it one time and i failed um but this is just beautiful and of course her tongue buckles are absolutely perfect and everything is just absolutely amazing so detailed and so tiny and now let's open up the boots and girth this is the one for the blue set so this is the girth I absolutely love these buckles, they're really convenient. And she even has a little D-ring in the middle. And then these are the boots. And they match, they have this little turquoise color that matches the saddle. And then it looks like these are sticking together a little bit, but these are the boots. And there's front and hind boots. And then this is just a simple martingale. And then for the other set, I also have a martingale and boots and the girth. So this is the martingale. It kind of has these pads that will lay on the shoulder of the horse. And then these connect to the bridle. And 
And then here is the girth. It's the same style as the other one. And then the front and hind boots. These don't have buckles on them, but they will be connected using tacky wax, which is basically just wax. Part that will definitely take the longest. I actually painted this horse specifically for this tack set. Um, so hopefully this tack will fit the horse and if not, then I'll have to find another one. So let's check and see if this will work. And it looks like it does. Perfect. And then for the other set, I was had two horses in mind. This is a custom I did on the um, Safari LTD Rocky Mountain Stallion. So let's check that out. I quite like that. I think it might be a little too big for him, but maybe not. I also have another horse. This is a custom that I did on the Trackner, retired Trackner mare. And let's take a look on how that goes on her. Hmm. I think I like it better on him. I think it just matches that color better. So we will put that on him and I'll take off this holder that I made for him. So it took me an hour and five minutes to put both these tack sets on, but totally worth it, honestly, in my opinion. So look at how detailed this stuff is, and it matches this custom so, so well. And um, I was like, on this side, I accidentally didn't like put the that part on to where the martingale attaches to the saddle, so I just took it under because I was like, oh my god, I'm not doing this again. Um, the bridle is so beautiful and everything. I'm just always blown away by her work. Like, it is literally it is so amazing. So, and then this is the other set. And I think it complements him so well. And I was like, maybe this won't look good because it's hair. But, like, it actually worked out really well. And I love the saddle, the matching saddle pad. And even the little detail on the blue, the blue for the boots. I think it all ties together really super well. And the bridles on both of them are amazing. The detail is just stunning and the tongue buckles are absolutely perfect, so. Now I'm gonna go outside and take some pictures with these lovely sets. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and go check out my Instagram page. I also have a few things left on my website if you guys are interested in anything for the holidays. I will be shipping them out in November and also again um, in late December when I get back from college. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and don't forget to stay sweet. Mwah.